So today we're going to talk about automation in Studio One version 2. I'm going to use this clap to create uh, a loop so it can be easily shown to you how automation can be created and uh, manipulated in any way. So I've got this loop set up now and to affect the pan we're going to concentrate on the mixer here and the box. So if you click the pan you're going to see pan appear click and drag on the hand and there you go your automation lane is created that's how easy and quick it is you can change the color if you wish to do so if you go up to this paint tool here you can use these tools here so you've got a sign square triangle I'm gonna use the sign and I'm gonna affect it like this now I am on 1 16th quantize so that's too much I want to go to maybe a half half note so let me draw it in again with a half note. Let's pick another one now. Let's try triangle and one for one. This is going to make it really, really pan left and right. Now you can see there's a really wide pan going on there, so this can be done in a matter of seconds. Let's reset that. I'm going to draw in a square here, and I'm just going to move on to the next tool that I want to show you. The next tool is going to be Transform. With Transform you can manipulate the automation data that you've put in. By simply drawing that box and it just literally dragging on the handles on the uh, top, bottom, left and right of the box. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to drag it all the way along and uh, have it kind of narrow out to the end. Obviously it's not perfect, it's just uh, for demonstration, but... If you do uh, want to change something dramatically, you can do it with this tool. Saves a lot of time and uh, it's an added feature for me. I don't really tend to use it too much, but it's, it's nice to have, you know. So now I'm going to move on to volume. Click volume. And the same thing, drag the hand icon. So anything that you do click, it will appear up in that box. And you can uh, drag the hand onto it. And you can literally just do exactly the same thing. What I'm doing here is I'm uh, affecting the volume with a triangle. You can see here I'm switching between the two. If you want to see both, you can uh, display off. And then you click this little... Uh, like a waveform and it will show you both at once so it's quite handy to use and like I said you can use this with anything on Studio One so thanks for watching this has been a automation tutorial on Studio One 2 if you haven't liked this video please do so subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one